Well, good morning, Sagittarius. So, Sag, uh, welcome to Sage Muse. This is for Sagittarius and really anyone. If you feel connected to it, please subscribe and like the videos. I really never asked for that, <laughs> but I, I just, I heard that they have this new feature on YouTube where a, a, an animated button will come up if you say the word subscribe. So we're testing that out. We're going to see what happens. Let me know if you see it. But anyways, let's get into it because I was looking at the astrology this morning and there is a square between Venus and Uranus. Now, when Uranus is, you know, making a play, you know, different things tend to happen and we Sagittarians love surprises. So there, you know, there, what it was saying essentially was that there could be um, unexpected uh, emotions in a good way. So this is a positive message. It isn't, you know, a drama filled <laughs> kind of event um, and unexpected conversations could be coming up for you, Sag. Um, so I thought, let's take a look at that, right? And then I will do... Uh, you know, uh, what may be coming in love this week. And I'm also going to do the week ahead like I always do. But I don't know. I felt like doing something different, Sagittarius. So it's so funny because I feel like, oh, oh by the way, if you're looking for personal readings, please check out the link in my description. It's always there, Sag. I feel like there is a moment, and it may just be random for you, where you just start thinking about someone, right? Um, you know, maybe it was a togetherness that you shared with someone. And, and I don't feel like these are bad feelings. I don't feel like this is someone necessarily who broke your heart. I just feel like you just start thinking about this person for no reason, right? And how things used to be. And it's... It, <laughs> to be honest, it's like when you think of them, they're thinking of you and all of a sudden you hear from this person because deep knowing is here. And usually when we're thinking about someone, a lot of the times they're thinking about us too. I mean, nothing is random. Am I right, Saj? And so I feel like this person does, call, you know, maybe drop you a message or a call or something you hear from this person, they tell you how they've been thinking about you. Um, thinking about, you know, how comfortable they were with you. And and I feel like this person is thinking about this because they're dealing with some really fake people in their life. Right? Because all that glitters is here. Um, they didn't value the realness of you. Uh, and... You know, maybe even they didn't think it was all that great, right? <laughs> it could be that. But now with every, you know, with masks coming off and taking a real good look at some, they're realizing that you are the realist. <laughs> that reminds me of that, that song. Okay. So anyways, um, they didn't value the realness about you and, um, they may be letting you know that and they're letting you know that because they have been dealing with some fake people in their life, right? Oh, okay. Exchanging gifts is here with to be fair and here and now. Yeah. I mean, this person's giving you the gift of truth. You know, this is justice. Um, Yeah, look at this. Happy, happy. Truth be told. And the fates. I, f I feel like you, um, I do feel like you feel good about it. Because who doesn't like to hear that, right? Because we are very real, authentic people. And, you know, I just, it just actually feels like you're glad to hear it. So let's, let's see. What else do we need to know here? Sagittarius, I hope that you're having a good weekend. 
you know, I don't do that many readings during the weekend, just, you know, so much going on, and I figure everyone else has so much going on, too, so, yeah, but I appreciate y'all, I'm so grateful for this community that we're building, I really am, I try to get to all the messages, you know, sometimes, I can, sometimes I can't, and yesterday was just such a weird feeling day to me, to be honest. Okay, so tell me about this person. Tell me about this person. Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. That's interesting. Tell me about this person. Four of Pentacles. This person probably has been really focused on money and family security. But I I also feel like wow. I do feel like they want to um <sighs> This isn't like a reconciliation energy. I, it, this may even be a friend for you. You know, it just feels like uh, there's so many pentacles here. Jeez. It's like literally all pentacles. So this is definitely what's going on right now. You know, this person is definitely someone who focuses a lot on family um, and their own you know, money, like, and, and it does feel as if this person, it's like they, um, they can only focus on one thing at a time, right? So they've been really focused on money. Um, and they've been really thinking, I feel like they've been really thinking about their connections with the Ten of Pentacles being here. Like, what is solid in their life? You know, and they have been, like, money, money is so important to this person. And stability is so important to this person. And I also feel like, you know, in this step back, I don't feel like you've been currently even maybe dealing with this person. They... It, are feeling how much you are like family is is basically what it's saying you know and how grateful that they are you know because they've been taking a step back to think about things right bringing balance in their life with the two of pentacles being here and realizing that they um they have to start being satisfied with what they have. This person definitely strives for wealth, right? It seems to be real important to them. The coin is real important to them. And now they're trying to um, focus on relationships and making relationships solid and, you know, find some balance in their life. Because it. I feel like for this person, what they've noticed is that they've been really focused on money. And it's kind of all they have, right? So there, there definitely seems to be some sort of lack of balance here. So tell me about this conversation. I feel like this person's also realizing there's more to life than money. Page of Wands, yeah. Page of Cups, wow. Yeah, I would definitely expect a message with this person. King of Pentacles. Jeez, so many Pentacles. <laughs> so many Pentacles. I feel like they're trying to make better decisions, be less impulsive. Um... It's a very playful conversation, is what I'm feeling. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Page of 
Oh. Four of Cups, Page of Wands. Feels like they're being really honest with you too. Yeah. Um, four of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Lovers. Oh boy. Six of Pentacles. Again. I feel like this person is really looking back at their life and the things that they've done. Because they're trying to be King of Pentacles here. They're trying to make solid decisions. They're very much, and this is someone who is very much in the 3D. They're very much about what they have and the, the physical world, you know. They're, they aren't really someone uberly focused on feelings. But I feel like they are going to tell you something. Especially in terms of the decisions. They felt like they were making the best decisions in the past. But it's kind of like they're taking a look at the past and realizing that they really kind of um, missed out on a good one. I don't feel like this is romance though, honestly. But I, it does feel as if this is someone definitely who let other things get in the way. And they don't want to miss the opportunity to actually express to you um, the value that you brought to their life. Wow, that's, that's really super sweet, really. <laughs> Sagittarius. So you may not be expecting this. And it's not really about... I don't really feel like um, it's about, you know, well, I feel like this person... They're thinking a lot about relationships and, you know, what they want to move forward with and what they want to leave behind. But this person is going through a real balance moment because balance is showing up all over this reading. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, you know. It could be this person really being at a crossroads, to be honest with you. So let's get on to what's coming towards you in love this week. Okay, Sagittarius. Interesting. There could be someone coming towards you. Um, Friar Lawrence is here. Which this is someone who um, kind of moves pretty slowly, right? Takes things slow. Uh, they're very serious, though. And I feel like they're going to be talking to you this week. And it's interesting that the way that they come towards you really feels like um, they may come asking for your opinion on something or, or for help because seeking help is here, right? But this is how this person flirts because so they may come asking for your opinion or, or asking for some help, that kind of thing. Um, but it it's kind of them opening a door. It, I don't know. It just feels like this is how this person flirts, right? Interesting. So, what else do we need to know about love? Tell me about Friar Lawrence. Friar Lawrence. Ooh. 
Ooh. Soulmate is here. Shapeshifter signs. This person, because they don't act like um, willy nilly, uh, this person looks for signs in terms of um, they kind of, um, with shapeshifter being here too, it's like they look for signs and then they act accordingly. So this person may approach you in a very slow moving way and and I definitely feel like this is what's happening like you may not even realize it because they're not talking to you in a romantic way um they're they're really testing the water here is what I'm feeling as to whether it's you know um welcomed mm. Tell me more about this. Oh, unexpected. What is unexpected? Mm -hmm. So you may be um, starting something with this person, but you're really not expecting it. Because I don't think that you even see that they're interested. Oh, you could be having fun with this person. This is definitely, okay, someone new. Okay, so let's see more. What can Sagittarius expect in love this week? I feel like they may, um, they definitely want to build something with you, but, and I feel like they may invite you to some sort of party or something like that. Interesting, Sagittarius. This person very much feels like someone who acts on cues though okay so what can Sagittarius expect in love this week can Sagittarius expect in love okay mm. can Sagittarius expect in love You're not expecting this and I kind of feel like you don't know um, how to react to it. And I also feel like this person may be a little bit insecure. And basically because you feel like you're okay by yourself right now. <laughs> okay. You're, you are uber focused on yourself. Oh, Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Cups reversed? Four of Cups. It's just because you may still be getting over something, but you. it's like you don't want to be disappointed. You know what I mean? You've been taken advantage of in the past, and so you're very guarded. Um, very watch and wait, you know, because you have gotten to this place where you're feeling all right with your world. And, you know, um, but the Ten of Pentacles is usually a good sign, but I just feel like you're in a good place and you're not sure if you want to disturb that. And basically that comes from the past. Hmm. So, I mean, I feel like you're willing to give it time. And so is this person. They see what you've been through. Um, and they've been through a lot, too. 
And they're very hopeful, though, because this person is definitely mature. And they want to build something. This person, especially with the Ten of Pentacles showing up more than once, this person isn't silly. I mean, they're not looking to get something or take advantage of you, Sagittarius. the king of cups wow by the five of swords Seven of Cups, Four of Pentacles. I feel like you just want to make sure this person is the real deal. Tell me about this King of Cups. I mean, you think they are, but you've been misled in the past. You know, and ooh, Three of Cups, Ace of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Interesting. I think you just want to, I mean, I think you might date this person. Um, you know, you're open to that. But I feel with the Five of Pentacles being there, it's like you're very much in this watchful energy. You've had hope that something better would come along. But you just want to make sure they're the real deal. You know that they are who they say they are be and you know that's not unwise Sagittarius it really isn't wow okay that's interesting we haven't seen new love in quite some time so let's take a look and see where this is leading you Sagittarius And I will um, do an extended for this so that you can uh, get a look at um, this person. What they're thinking, what they're feeling, what their actions are going to be. And I will also do um, what you can expect in love from each sign. So where is this leading Sagittarius? Where's this leading Sagittarius? Kind of like you, um, even as you were getting through things, you still kept hope alive, you know. Um, yeah, you still kept hope alive that, you know, love, something new would come along. Something good would come along, right? Um, and so there is a little light forming in terms of this. And I don't, but I don't think, I think when you make a decision on whether or not to, um, to be with this person, you definitely will move slower. You know, you definitely will move slower and you're telling them this. You're pretty much telling them that you don't want to make the wrong decision. You don't want to be impulsive. You don't want to rush into anything um, in terms of relationships. And there's something really beautiful about this relationship, though. And there is like, um, 
it is totally new, right? It is, I, I feel like this person might even be out of what you usually go for. And this person is actually open to moving slowly. Because they know how you've been let down. They Maybe they've been let down too. So they are willing to test the waters to, to start dating. But they're also not letting go of a vision that they have. Um, but they're seeing this as an opportunity. Okay. To show you stability. I feel like this person though. It's like they're they're gonna like with the King of Wands and the Four of Swords, they're gonna kind of not be forceful about a relationship, but you have to know that that is this person's goal the whole time. They're willing to go at your speed, they're willing to keep it fun for a while, but this is what this person wants. They ain't playing, and I mean in terms of what zodiac sign it could be any zodiac sign but earth earth energy was pretty prevalent in this whole reading <laughs> it really was so yeah i just feel like for you um you know love has burned you and you it's like you need to be sure on some level you need to see what they do on a regular basis in order for you to eat, consider this. So, I mean, I think that's kind of realistic, Sag. Kind of realistic. So, so let's see what you're learning, Sagittarius. And yes, I realize my readings are getting longer. <laughs> so what is Sagittarius learning? What is Sagittarius learning here? Oh. That there's a lot of potential. And it's really based on your potential as well. Your potential is endless. And it says take yourself on a date. But I really feel like you're seeing potential in this. Oh boy. Okay, Sagittarius, that was refreshing. So till next time, toodles.